guys I did try it out but I even wet this a little bit but I don't I don't think that it would be nice to ruin such a nice envelope as this one so and you can make this your own so I am I am gonna make this my own and I'm gonna use this somewhere else just glue this down but I do love how these turns out smaller so I'm definitely gonna use these later but not for this um, for this where we need it for yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so i do i am gonna make my own um you can make it in black or you can make it in white whatever you're gonna please but let me first make one in white perhaps i like it more all right so i'm gonna grab a a4 piece and i'm gonna grab my scoreboard the first thing that i'm gonna do is i am gonna cut this at six inches okay then I am gonna score I'm gonna give you a little um, a little note where was that oh yeah there it is yep I'm gonna give you just in, in a sec first I'm gonna do it all for it for you <laughs> all right <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to score at one inch, flip it over, scoring at two inch, and at seven one fourth, then I'm going to flip it again, and again I'm going to score at one inch. That's it. Where well, I need my folding scoring board for. Then you will see those fold lines. Oh, yep, here you go. Then I am going to cut on the outside or inside. That's just how you call it. I'm going to cut that off at the bottom. Cut your score lines off. Here in the corner, I like it to have it in a little um, diagonal side again on this side cut your score line off till here and then cut this in the corner these you can throw away do the same thing here on this side so I'm going to cut down the first thing I am going to cut this in not in an angle because I don't know how deep the angle needs. So for the first cut I am gonna cut it straight. You can, if you have a corner punch, you can use your corner punch if you like. You can. Okay, now it looks like this. Now I am gonna fold my one inch flaps inside then I'm gonna fold the bottom flap to the inside and now you will see these little flaps over now I like to make it a nice angle so I'm gonna make a line I'm gonna make a score now I'm gonna make a pencil mark <laughs> just right here and from corner to corner I'm gonna cut see that oops yep from corner to corner I'm gonna cut that off same on here so just fold it open again grab your scissor and cut from corner to corner same thing here from corner to corner. Alright, that's it. So now it will look like this. Um, it looks like this. See? Nice. Alright, and then of course we fold down the flap, the top piece. 
and there you go there you have your little coin bag which of course we're going to glue this down after we sew in that um, booklet all right so now you can use a white one or you can use a black one that's totally up to you what you like i don't know exactly i think i'm going to use for the black one i have something in mind that maybe this project will do a little bit extra 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 we love to do that all right so but not glue this down just yet because we want to sew this in the um in 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 the booklet i have no idea why i am so struggling with my words lately but i do so here is a little note that i made <laughs> all right so these are for my coin bag i'm gonna call it a coin i think it is a coin bag instead of an envelope so the coin bag so i cut my a4 and then i'm cutting it at six inch then you score one long side one inch flip it over score at two inch plus seven one four inch flip it over and then score again at one inch then your paper will look like this then everything what i draw here with a little stripe i cut off and then you get it all right that's cool that was easy easy going okay so when i am gonna glue uh not glue sew this in i'm gonna need this right here this flap i do need that all right so so everything is going to be steady so where do i want it nicely in the middle or you can make it at, at the top or something but this is definitely going to need right here yep this is the place where i want to be so how i'm going to get this steady i'm just going to use a clam to keep it on its place just like that so yeah see now i can glue this not glue <laughs> i can sew this in and then it will be right here all right so let's grab some needles only one needle is needed of course i'm gonna grab a needle and a thread use any kind of thread you like of course here we go what i like to use as as to do this sewing thing i like to use um i have no idea cotton cotton thread i think it's it's called like this because it's not easy to uh whip um so that's what i like to use you can find it in any sewing store i think that cotton thread you can find it everywhere but you can use whatever you like of course now let's just start with making some holes and i just make one in the middle and this is a little larger so i'm gonna make five holes and one down here and i'm gonna turn this around i'm gonna make one here and watching where the fold line is right here all right so let's get started with the first one going in going back Just like a normal a normal sewing 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. As you will normally fix a pan, pants or something like that. Well, anyway. Now I like to go back in this same hole right here. So I'm going to push away. Go back in. Yeah, don't lose. Don't make this too short. Otherwise, you can't make that knot in the end. All right, I'm going back in here. go to the last hole go back go back inside here we go and now I'm just gonna put this needle under this one right here just like that and if I yeah grab that goodness <laughs> yeah yeah having long nails is not always handy but all right make sure that everything is nice and tight and if it's not then make sure it is tight okay now i'm just gonna make a knot to make three. There we go. Cut it. Yes. Okay, cool. Easy peasy. Leave these all out. Then you just can put these inside back and glue these together. And then it will be in here. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fold this nicely. See how easy that is? That is super, super cool. All right. Love it. Yep, that's nice. Now, the only thing that I totally forgot. <laughs> is why I already sewed this together because I could have sewed this in the binding for the album. Yeah! <laughs> well, we, we, get the man we get to manage that. Yes, we can. But I do love this one. Um, I do love making that uh, little closure for this one. So I am going to do that when I'm ready but so not glue with this down just yet but you get the picture so my advice not glue this down just yet all right so yeah actually it was perhaps better to do this in that but now you also can make it with an elastic and you can pull it out so whoa that's also a possibility that's still a possibility i still don't know what i am doing so that elastic is still an option all right cool all right so <laughs> yeah this is gonna be an odd odd follow along video i know but that's just me Now the next step 
would be covering up this a little. Make this nice. Alright, and I have something in mind, and I don't know if I'm gonna do this all over the place, but I think I am because I think I like it. And what that is, is, um, and I tried it out already on some um, black cardstock. So I do have a gold pen, which you can find in any cheap store, which you can also write in. As you can see, this is just a cheap one, bought in, in the action, I believe. You also have it in silver. Um, I don't know if I have that one in silver right here, or I have it downstairs. No, I don't have it up here. But anyway, I also have a white one. Um, so I don't know exactly which one I'm going to use. I definitely like the gold one because it's a little less popping up, popping out. Um, so what if, what if, I'm just thinking along, what if I would throw a line all the way around this and I'm going to do that. <laughs> yes, I am make this project nice so I'm gonna do this all the way around and well I also could have done first cutting out some nice design paper and then do this perhaps that's even better so I'm gonna try out which method is the best I have no idea but I'm going to make this line all the way around and then I'm going to search for a nice design paper to glue on to make this booklet ready to go. So I'm just going to go all the way around as if I used a sewing machine. Alright, I will get back when I'm all the way around and please forgive me that my tutorials are odd and crazy and perhaps not that perfectly but this is a way this is just the way how i like it how i would like to spend my crafting time without you so it's just oh don't leave me i do like how i do it and sometimes people ask me why you don't have any measurements uh, lists or why don't you have any uh, material lists and I keep saying this my tutorials are free just because this is the way how I like to do them um, if you like to have a nice cutting a measurement list or you want a nice material list there are so many who make the perfect tutorial for you but then you can buy them of course but I believe there also are free ones I don't know but oh wow I love this oh that looks nice look at that okay cool that's cool and I also would like to do this at the back and actually I do love it so much that I perhaps gonna do this on every thing so now I'm gonna search for some design paper and then I come back to you if I have found one I think I even can use um, 12 the 6x6 for it I don't know, but I'm gonna bound back to you. Oh, let me use first. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Let me just use first this one. And then another color on the bottom. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be amazing. Wouldn't it? And especially I do love this uh, gold edgy stitch all the way around because it's a lot of black and gold so 
I love it. Now, which one will be, be nice? I think I'm going to start with this color. Um, yeah, and perhaps another one I will use with the green one. Not much uh, papers we can use with just the basics. So I am going to be searching for the perfect fit. So let's see, I'm just going to do one together with you, so you know how I did it. <laughs> okay, so, oh my gosh, this is terrible to be seeing, so I am going to use a black marker for that. Um, yeah, let's cut this here. And here, I am with you all the time. Let's, let's do some crazy things. Uh, don't throw this away, keep it. You know me for now, if you watch me longer than today, I always like to use everything. So this looks nice. See, that fits perfectly with that line. I'm going to use my vintage photo. I'm not going to use black. I could have used black, but I think it's it's black. It's it's way way black already. So I'm going to use this. Let's glue this on. I think using these booklets are perfect for the six by six. I want to keep it as plain as possible. I also can make it a little low, but no, nope, I'm going to use it in the middle. I'm just going to eyeball this in the middle, just like I always eyeball things. But I do like that stitch. I hope I can see it still when it's ready. Okay, so for this one I definitely need, oh this is also nice, Ugh, why do they make it so hard to choose? <laughs> Alright, this one I am going to cut the same size as the wolf page, so I have a little ticker left over. And then I'm just going to be under my stitch line. Okay, smooch the edges. Normally a project will go um, pretty much easier going once I cut my papers and I always have that stage fever or the, the, the shivers <laughs> before I start a new project. How it's gonna be, will it be nice, do what 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 do I want to make with it? Um, how people all are um, react on it or yeah I don't know it's just but I want to be as close as I can to myself and I just like to make what I believe these papers are worth making of. What will fit the best, in my opinion guys, in my opinion, what will fill, fit. That's always what I like to do. If I get new papers in my hand, I can watch those papers for a few days and just like to see in my mind what you can do with those paper what will do the best way of using those papers what will tell the story what project that's that's the normal thing that i like to do okay 
Oh, and because this is a little spiritual, spiritual papers, moon, uh, eclipse. Yeah, I do love it. So I wanted to make something that people can feel it. You can feel it. Gosh, I love this. I do. It's a little more time doing this, but I do love it. Do you want to see close by? I do love this H, H, this stitch. <laughs> I do love it all the way around. It makes it a little more interest. Yeah, that's cool. Perfect. Yep. All right. Step one. Yay! <laughs> I do love it. Okay, that's cool. Oh my gosh, I get shivers. <laughs> Thank God, it worked out what I had in mind. That's cool. So I'm definitely going to do the back too. And then this booklet, I'm going to leave the inside because if you do have something like this, you also can make frames with this. You can do so much. Um, you also, yeah, that's also nice. Make frames, like little photo frames that people can add a picture in here or people can write something in here that's cool that's what I'm gonna do oh my gosh I'm gonna have so much fun with this playing around and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with this one too yeah that's awesome so I think I'm gonna recommend that you especially on shaped edges shaped papers pieces that if you cut your papers normally with a little black edge now make a larger black edge let's say three millimeters or so and then draw a line around it i think that's a good idea to do next time is it a three millimeter i think so um yeah three or four three or four millimeters and an inch is that about, well, let's say a one eight or something. Is a one eight? Is this a one eight? Yeah, I think a one eight is good enough. All right, so yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna use for the back. Perhaps this one, and then search for two other ones. Could be, could be. That could be done. Yeah, cool. I am wondering, should I use this time also a printable or not? I don't want to do that every single time, so no, I'm not going to do that. Let's, let's make it difficult, in my opinion, to use it, what we have. All right, so, yep, love it, cool. Okay, okay, we are already a bit later. Um, okay, so the back is this. Look at this, I love the edges. Yeah, I, it, I, I know it's hardly to see, but I do love it. And in, in between I used the dots, just, yeah, I do love it. Love it, and on the inside, I also made some lines here. Yeah, I just made it all the way around. Yeah, cute, 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 cute. Okay, now I am ready to do my envelope. Okay, so I only covered up the front first. And now I'm going to make the closure. Well, first I'm going to add this on top oh wow this is also nice oh no i'm just gonna stick with this one oh lady i'm gonna glue you down i'm gonna use you on another page on another piece okay so i'm gonna glue this down with that larger black edge all the way around so i can make that stitch again 
All right, so um, I um, I have some ink on just a piece of white cardstock, and now I'm going to use just this small one. So I'm going to punch out two, and those I'm going to use even the edges I like to. Right. Just small brown pieces, but you can use any color cardstock, of course, if you want to make black or any color you like. But I think this match nicely. What do you say? Yep, I do like it. Okay, so I'm just gonna punch a hole where I think it's the middle. And then uh, I'm just gonna punch the hole. Grab a little blood. And put it in. That's easy to do. There you go. Yeah, cool. And once you are going to use use this more, then this will be easier going. You also can use a spacer, by the way. That's also a possibility to make it more easy. I forgot to do that this time. But... I think we can manage with doubt okay now i punched a hole all the way through um but i should have done this on this piece of paper i totally forgot yeah 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 i did forgot that so i would not recommend this so I'm going to make this as flat as possible because everything I want to put in here, I don't want that this is going to be bumping in the way in any way. So that is not, it's not exactly in the middle also. Yeah, 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 it goes. Nothing. I punched the hole in the middle, so why is this not in the middle? That's just the fault of me. Now it is in the middle. Yeah. Okay, cool. So for the next step, I'm just going to use a tin thread. The same one as I did use for this to sew in. Just gonna make a little knot. I like to make it on top. Cut it short. And there you go. Same thing with this one actually. Why is this not nice in the middle? Mm -mm -mm. It's not my day lately, but... Punched it in the middle. But somehow... It did not... That's just the fault on the board. No, we can deal with that. Alright, next time I really gonna use a spacer because now it's a little bit difficult. Wait, just before I'm gonna close it down. I'm gonna glue this down. And for the back I used again just a white paper which I smooched. See, like this. I think you can use sometimes another piece of cardstock to save a little paper. 
But you also can use this coffee dyed paper, but for now I just use this white to cover up my board closure. Alright, um, I think we can close this down. Yeah, I think we can. Can we? I think we do. We are ready. Alright, so glue it down and then your pocket, your coin bag is ready to use. So that was the reason that we did not glue it down just yet, but now it's ready. It's ready, finally. So yeah, once this dry, it's a nice insert, and then you can close this down. This is definitely a little, because it's new, but once we get along, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take your time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know me, I struggled more with this, but once you get a hold on this, and once this is used to having a thread around it, see, it's already. You don't have to make a long one as I just did, but just getting used to the paper, that's why I'm gonna do that. Let the paper a little work. Alright, so I do love it how this turns out. So I'm gonna go around it on the inside, outside, and then of course something on the back. I think I'm gonna make a little postcard thing that people can write something on here. Um, something like that. I'm gonna see perhaps just cutting out a nice image or so, or perhaps even cutting a letter out as that be the post stamp. Thing. But yeah, let's see what I'm thinking of. Perhaps it was better to glue this down on another piece of cardstock, so it's a little, a little sturdier than now. All right, that is a lesson for me for the next step. But for now, I'm gonna make my stitch all the way around. I'm gonna search for something on the back. But for now, how do you think? This looks awesome, don't you think? I love it. So cool. Yes, very, very happy with it. So yep, I am gonna stitch more around with my gel pen and then I'll come back to you when I'm done. Yoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, I finally finished it completely. I did make, why is the thread so thin? <laughs> I did finish it up with two tags that fits in here and that was the last thing that I would like to do on this and yeah what else I don't know I think it's ready I think it's ready yep so what's next what's next I think I'm gonna finish up first a few of these more and I don't know exactly how much that I want to make these but at least four I want to make these so that's what I'm gonna do um, so yeah let's see and I'm definitely gonna use again the 6x6 for these I think that fits amazingly well to create this with the 6x6 one so that's what I'm gonna continue and yeah do i this do that do i do this without you or with you mm, 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 mm. perhaps with you i don't know do you want this do you want to see me doing this more little chit chat well if you don't then skip this part but if you do stay tuned and keep me company all right okay the first thing that i gonna do is I'm gonna make those coin bags and I'm gonna make four booklets 
I think that will be a nice amount. So that's the first thing that I like to do. So these are ready to take off. Okay, so score at one inch. And you know the drills, of course. We made this together, seven one four. But I can assume that you don't want to watch this. You don't want to watch me doing this. Yeah, alright, so two more. Six inch. One inch. Two inch. Seven one four. And one inch. One more. So we are ready. Six inch. One inch. Two. Oops. Seven one four. And one inch. All right, that's that. I always love to keep all the leftovers by hand. Um, Alright, so let's cut this. In the meantime, for those who watch me longer than today, you know I... Oh yeah, this was in an angle. Um, we love to chit chat. I love to chit chat. Um, and yeah, what can I tell? Well, first of all, I had a little stress this week, and if you can call it stress, but <laughs> in my life it was a little stress because I was working on my Alice in Wonderland um, project. And I was really getting in the flow back again after a few weeks of grief for Toki. And but um, but the cardstock that I wanted to use for my black and white printables was still not arrived. And oh, so I could not go further with that. I needed to stop that. Oh gosh, I hate that print because I was just getting in the flow with that one. Uh, but yeah, I needed to wait till the cardstock is here. So hated it, but yeah, necessary. But yeah. So what options did I have was, well, um, I could have made a project uh, for myself with papers for my own that I own myself or I could or I could do just the next one and this one was arriving this week well the final the second um, the second uh, arrival came um, the second packages I'm going to cut this a little in an angle, otherwise it's going to be bumping in the way. And we don't want that. And um, so yeah, before I wanted to um, to keep it a nice place to store it, I was going through these papers and yeah. I came up with that idea why I don't start with this right away. I loved it so much. And Aniska is such a nice woman. Um, so yeah, why not? Why not start right away? Um, I could have stored this for some time when I got... Yeah, I always wait till I get the feeling to start with a project. But once I saw this on Facebook passing by, I fell in love with this paper. So I think, well, let's just start with it right away. What do you think? Um, so yeah, that's why. That's why I started. Because I just had to wait with the, 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 the other project. So yeah, 
I don't want to waste my days and it's not that I waste that I don't that I don't do that I can't do anything else of course it's not but knowing that in a few weeks my new dog my new puppy will be arriving I definitely want then to have something ready to uh, upload on YouTube because when I do get my puppy Chica then I don't know well of course I wanted to train her I want to spend some time with her so I don't want to go upstairs all day and leave my puppy downstairs of course that is not a thing why you like a new puppy so so yeah um, so that's why I want I want to do a few projects well the meaning was one the Alice in Wonderland but yeah somehow that gets stuck with the delivery of the cardstock that I want to use and I still could have made that printable in the right color my daughter can change that in any color I like but still I do not want every single printable with a full color background I just wanted to show you that you can do that with just black and white but yeah then I, I do need that cardstock <laughs> but hey it's okay it's okay it's it's not a punishment to start with these papers oh no it's not oh, I forgot to cut this in an angle I forgot okay so yeah it's definitely not a punishment so when I got these papers, yep, I definitely watched a couple of ideas, well not ideas, but I had to search a little about Eclipse and I searched a bit on these images, what exactly does those mean, um, and yeah, I do think that I am ready, I am ready to dig myself in a new adventure because I always see these things as an adventure I do because each collection of papers always tell their own story and yeah I love that and especially when I receive a new collection oh my gosh then I leave it downstairs for a few days grab a cup of coffee and I will watch each sheet very very carefully and just imagine what I almost forgot again this to cut in an angle and just yeah can I say I let the papers talk to me well me, most of the times I talk to the papers but <laughs> but um, yeah I don't know I just wanted to see um, what the papers are and the color combinations, what, what can I add on it or what project I like to make with it that's more important than what kind of papers they are. I do, I do like to search for a nice project that fits the papers oh, I already speak with you that I, I already, already some say that I am terrible in English well <laughs> I watched a video um, an early one because that one was also the two-in-one combination <laughs> and I wanted to look it back to see how I did it then and perhaps something I like to change or not I don't know but I wanted to look back uh, my own video a few years back and 
I really can't say that my English way at the beginning uh, that I am new on YouTube was awful. It was so awful. But hey, I did my best. I'm Dutch. I'm still Dutch. <laughs> but yeah, I just try. But I don't know why, but like I just said earlier, this week I don't know what happens, but... I really need to get back my mojo. I can call it my mojo. <laughs> um, to see. Yeah, I don't know. I it, it's. I can't get. I can't find my words that I wanted to use. But anyway, in the meantime, we did the three. Um, the three coin bags. So these are ready. Yay! So the next step is very, very easy, of course. We are just going to grab five pages. Three, four, five. Hello! <gasps> Jesus! Oh! Love you guys. Okay, guys. I'm so sorry. He is terrible. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Oh. In the meantime, I was going further with this, but oh my gosh. Don't you hate him? Don't you just hate him? I always do that. I always do that. But yep. Yeah. Have to live with that. <laughs> We just have to live with him. He's the devil. <laughs> I'm so sorry if you get a heart attack. Well, I hope you don't, but you didn't have one. But I apologize for him. Anyway, oh my gosh, I'm still quiet about it. Terrible person. There we go. completely forgot what I was talking about. Well, forgive me, forgive me for having such an evil boy. Well, some say it's good for your heart, but <laughs> I don't believe that. I really don't believe that. Okay, I think you get the picture on how this all goes. So I'm going to make two more of these without you. And then the decoration uh, we'll do together. Oh, I definitely need some cutting off here just a little bit. The bottom is perfect, but the top I can cut off a little bit. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two more. And then with the decoration, it's better for me to talk a little bit. <laughs> okay, guys, so these are ready. These three. And I'm going to use this one. All right, so let's see what. Okay, I think I'm going to do this one. Yeah, actually a bit the same. Do we do all the same? I don't know, but this time I... Okay, 
this. So yeah, it, it you know the drills. So I'm gonna make a larger black edge open. Use um, save those. Smooth the edges. If you want to make these a little more, then I think it's even better. I always love doing that. <laughs> okay, glue it on. Yeah, it's. It's of course all the same, but oh, for some of you who like to craft with me together and would love to hear me brabbling. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, again, I, I, I apologize for my son because yeah, sometimes he had it in his head that it will be fun to to scare me, but it isn't fun at all. <laughs> but he think it is, so. Okay, I'm gonna try to have the same black edge on that side. Same on this side. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> okay, glue this on. I love the green one with this page because this nice lady also have a green dress. So I think this fits perfect. The other part, I always like to smooch my edges because then it will look a little more vintage and I hate those clean white edges makes your project a little more better. Let me, I want to split this. Yeah. So I'm going to turn this green on the other side. There we go. I like to clean up in between. And this is time. This is ready to make that stitch line all the way around. Not gonna do that right now, but so let's see what else can we do on the back. Which do we like on the back? I can use Okay, again a nice thicker black edge is needed. Save it. And then this time we're going to use this black one. Oh, this is not too difficult at all, of course. Try to find the middle. Just eyeball it. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Definitely not. Doesn't have to be perfect. Hmm. 
by the way, those who follow me longer than today, I really think that um, for those who knows me, follows me longer than today, I definitely think that Sweden, because my daughter would go to Sweden, I don't think that will go forward and I am not grieving about that I am not I am actually a little happy I'm sorry sorry for to say that but yes I am um, let me see I do like well these two are different so <laughs> Which one we are going to use? Hi! How long? Well, we're klaar. I was just talking about you. <laughs> okay. I hope she didn't hear what I was telling. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do the same on here. What else can we do? Well, we can make little pieces, but hmm. I think I'm gonna use that alphabet again. Is that the last one? Hmm, that's the last one. Stay here forever. No, I'm gonna use the green one for this one. <laughs> All right, black edge right here. Black edge right here. And there we go, there we go. Keep it simple, simple as possible. You don't have to do all the times difficult with your design paper uh, cutting it all up in little pieces. You don't have to. You can, but you don't have to. You don't have to. Hey! Hello guys, I'm back. Oh, here we go again. What you? Pause it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I... They keep interrupting me every time, but... <laughs> Alright, so I finished up the background. So yeah, this is the green one, and then this is the Burgundy one, I think. Um, so yeah, next thing that I need to do is, of course, uh, do the inside. And I must say, the outside, I do it with just my hands. And the inside, I must say, I cheated a little. Well, not cheated, but... I do have a tool that I got way back and it's a ruler where you can make dots but the outside I do with hands because I can yeah I don't know it's, it's, it's nicer but on the inside I'm gonna use a ruler and it's such a nice thing to use it's so easy Ta -da. and then you get these Ta-da! Oh, so easy. So easy to use. So I'm just gonna go all the way around with my ruler. <laughs> oh, <would you? laughs> What hebben jullie vandaag? Wat dan? Can you need your cadeautjes in pocket? Yeah. Oh gosh. Alright, so yeah, that is a really handy thing. So I know I'm gonna I can see where the middle is and then oh Daisy. Oh my gosh, this is such a handy thing. Here we go. That's 
just the middle of this one and then oh yeah that was the middle of this one and then uh, you can see what the middle of here is so I really love this tool love it but for the outside I am going to use uh, just by hand because I, because I can make them a little thicker but for the inside look how cute this is love it and you have several uh, different shapes uh, with it they are easy to click out let's see where do you want this you can easily click them out and I'm going to make a double line So easy to use. Love it. So that is how I, but this is the first time that I use it. I do have it quite a long time. Bought on Amazon. But now it's the first time that I finally can use it. And of course you don't have to buy this, you don't, because it was not that cheap, but see, that is the other line, right against here, so cool. And I do have two other ones, um, these are a little, big, a little bit bigger, but so easy, so easy to use them. But for now, at least at these two, I do, do like the most. And you click these out, you also can click these inside, and then you have a nice ruler with a handle. Um, and if you want to use them, then you just flip these out, and then you can use them. So nice. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so yeah, I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. Do the same thing on the outside. And yeah. Then I go to the next one. Oh, so easy. Easy, easy going. The person who invented this has a great imagination. <laughs> I wish I invented this because I love it. It's so easy to use, but yeah, and I'm happy that I finally could use it. And that's what I said um, in in uh, earlier. You don't. You absolutely don't have to buy everything. I have but um, earlier I would not use something like this when I do a project with a kit because I don't want you to feel that you have the feeling that you have to buy this so I am a little anxious in uh, using some stuff that I wanted to try out and when I do try it out and do buy I would not use it um, doing my videos because I won't I don't want you to give the feeling that you need to buy it that is why I also do this by hand on the outside and also um, on the inside with this one so yep that's been said <laughs> where's my oh here's my so um, yeah let's go on on this one cool <laughs> okay after a quite a long time I finally finished <laughs> my second booklet and um, yeah I did it without you because my kids were disturbing me too much so um, <laughs> so I did it, I finished it off um, this is how it looked like, the front, the back you already saw that um, the inside you also saw that well the only thing that I did I think the last hour was finishing up this um, 
quite back. So this is the front, this is the back. Um, I did use some foil, gold foil thing. Never used it before. Um, someone gave it to me and I tried it out. First of all, I have no clue if I did it if I did it the right way. I did it with some glue. I think I did it good, but yeah, I need to play with that a little bit more. But anyway, I used the, the green um, for the round one, and that was actually from the cover of the 6x6. You have small images. Uh, on the front cover. That's the one I used for this one. It's actually the dress of that um, of this little image. Which where it is? This little image right here. This one. Um, the dress I used for that. Yeah, I did use that. Uh, the inside I only put two little simple photo mats in here, um, or you can journal on here and put your photo on the back. Um, nothing much more on it and then the back I used all those little pieces that the front of the 6x6 pad I cut out a few of the images that was left on the back and I cut out Soyo Design brand I think she deserves to add her brand somewhere so I did glue it down all right so the leftover yeah it's pretty much the leftover piece um yeah nothing much um further than that yeah it took me a long time but yeah that's i love it i love how this turns out so cool so cool yep all right so here we go the next one oh my god look at this oh wow i love it love 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 it okay two to go <laughs> okay okay yes i finished them and with still only using the six by six papers what i have left i will go through them in just a sec what i have left is one this side out one two three four five six seven seven full sheets of the 6x6 six six I have left and for this one I only have one piece cut out and just a few little bits left not much so that is what I have left with making four booklets and um, I love it already and it's already let me check that out it's already well a little bit more than one inch high or three centimeters high so that's cool love it and so okay so this one we did together you already saw that do me doing together i thought this one we did too yep that's with the golden uh piece we did i showed you already oh my gosh my hands are very ugly then this one I made uh, without you, so I may I use this one with this little image on the side, and I used <laughs> to bring the gold a little back. Um, I used this this yeah I don't know it's not fabric but it's kind of tulle something with gold, and I thought it would be nice to bring some gold back once in a while not too much but a bit and look at that it's nice shiny love it um, inside um, I don't know if that's a fancy tag or some oh yeah that's this one these two are made it's the same one as the other one before but then I glued down the image down and this writable piece up this time i did it the other way around just to give it a little more um yeah i call that differency so yep and then the back i used yeah i could not resist using that nice wolf again it was not high enough so i just added some white with this dress so you can write a little name under there so yep love it and then the back yep using all the scraps that you have using the back and this one yeah it's not particularly a particular order but 
know it. <laughs> then I'm going to show you the last piece. Love this image. It's so nice. This time I, I'm bringing back the green. So I have two, yep, two Burundi color and two green ones. That was the meaning that I will mix that up a bit. So this one I used and then let's go to the inside. Then we have this coin back using this letter. I believe inside was only two simple photo mats, but I'm going to check that out. I don't have to wrap this. Yep, just two simple photo mats, which I smooched, smooched already. I don't know why I do this so many times. And then the back I made again, um, just a postcard image. For the rest, I will keep it plain. And the back, of course, leftover pieces. Yep, because I wanted to save as the sheets as, as big as possible. So I used everything that I had before I cut down a new sheet. And this is how it turns out. I think it's nice. I still can add a nice image on here or a nice name tag right here. So yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right, so I showed you everything. I did this on my own because yeah, everything was the same and it was not that yeah, a good time for me today to film every single minute. So yep, forgive me for that, but we have plenty to chit chat and plenty to show and plenty to talk about. So I will see you next time where we are going to do the next step. And the next step will be um, scrapbook mini album pages um, to give it that two in one. Scrapbook, journal, junk journal, no, not a junk journal, journal. Because these are journals. That's, yeah, you still can add pictures in here, of course. Oh, I think I forgot to the inside. This one I did. And these two not. Well, I will keep that open in mind and we'll see if I do that again. All right, so I'm going to wish you a very wonderful time. Um, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Till next time. Bye-bye. Love you.